What is the second point? Both the fields are long range. There is one more similarity. Third one, there are some differences are also there. What are the differences? These are the similarities. If you see the differences, we can write the first difference or in the points of continuity, we can write the third point. So what are the first difference? The electrostatic field is due to a scalar source, nothing but the electric charge. electrostatic field is due to the scalar point or scalar source charge but magnetic field is not like that magnetic field is due to a vector source called IDL means current along the length it's due to a scalar source charge electric charge And whereas the magnetostatic force or magnetostatic field is due to a vector source called IDL. Is due to a vector source. called IDL this is one of the difference one more difference is magnetostatic field is associated with the angle whereas electrostatic field is not at all in association with the angle the expression 1 by 4 pi epsilon and Q by R square clearly says it is independent of angle between the Q and R but here magnetostatic field is dependent on angle that to be sign that is one more difference so what is the one more difference electrostatic field is independent of angle independent of angle between Q and R but here whereas magnetostatic field whereas magnetostatic field they are dependent on angle sin theta that is one more and the third difference we can say that electrostatic field is along the length or we can say that q1 q2 by r square e is proportional to 1 by r square where magnetostatic field where e is along the r magnetostatic field is along the ideal plane perpendicular to the ideal the electrostatic force or field along R whereas magnetostatic force or magnetic field is lies perpendicular to the plane containing I and DL. So these are the differences and similarities between E and B, electric field and magnetic field. And we will see one connection between this E and B which are helpful to see the introduction of the upcoming chapters. Here an interesting relationship between mu naught and epsilon naught. Between 
see here e and b in g it is 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in b it is mu naught by 4 pi so if you find the relationship between e and b it is almost a relationship between mu naught epsilon naught so how it will be defined take mu naught epsilon naught this is the first step and I am multiplying this whole mu naught epsilon naught with 4 pi and dividing with 4 pi. So multiply and divide the above equation with 4 pi. This is the first let us take so what will you understand we know that mu naught is uh, what is epsilon naught permeability and permittivity of the different fields e and b so mu naught into 4 pi epsilon naught by 4 pi Multiplied with 4 pi, divided with 4 pi. We know that mu naught by 4 pi is equal to 10 power minus 7 tesla. We know that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 power 9. But 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 1 by 9 into 10 power 9. So, we got this one as 1 by 9 into 10 power 16. We can write this one as 1 by 3 into 10 power 8 whole square which is equal to mu naught epsilon naught which is equal to mu naught epsilon naught. What is this 3 into 10 power 8? Speed of light or velocity of light. So 1 by c square is equal to mu naught epsilon naught c square is equal to 1 by mu naught epsilon naught therefore c is equal to 1 by under root mu naught epsilon naught this is a very very important expression which relates the speed of light to the permeability and permittivity of the different media different fields so from this expression we can say that electromagnetic the wave which is generated due to the bombardment or the combination of electric and magnetic fields they will travel with the speed of light those speed of electromagnetic waves is equal to the speed of light this is the way to prove this is very very important prediction did by mr maxwell faraday lens as a concludingly they got this relation and this relation is helpful in the transmission of electromagnetic waves which is uh, in the upcoming chapters so here one problem which is uh, related to the biot servert's law so the content of the problem is like this there is an element carrying a delta i current which is equal to delta x i along x axis is placed at the origin and carries a large current i is equal to 10 amperes what is the magnetic field on the y axis at a distance of 0 0.5 meters where delta x is equal to 1 centimeter. See, this is the element which carries the current of delta xi where i is equal to 10 amperes. When carries the current is like this, field always like this. So, in the problem we need not to apply the theta angle because he is asking in the direction of the prediction. So, carries the current is 10 amperes and uh, we should find out the magnetic field at a distance of 0.5 meters from the origin along y axis. So we should apply the biot savets law in this case where biot savets law is i dl sin theta by r square. So we know that what is i? 10 amperes dl a small element of length 1 centimeter. or radius at a distance of 0 0.5 meters. So the expression is dB is equal to 
mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square. Mu naught by 4 pi is 10 power minus 7, we know that. Where i is equal to current, pakka 10 amperes. Where dl is equal to dx, 1 centimeter, it is nothing but 10 power minus 2 meters. By r is 0 0.5 meters, r square means 5 by 10 into 5 by 10, 25 by 100. That is nothing but 25 into 10 power minus 2. And see this uh, 10 power minus 6 by 25. So 1 by 25 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Tesla. So approximately we can get 4 into 10 to the power of minus 8 Tesla. Current is in the x direction xi field is in the y direction resultant will be in the z direction so the resultant field will be in z axis direction or direction of z axis why it is delta x i cross y j so delta x y into i cross j. We know that i cross j is equal to k, where k is the unit vector along the z axis. So k cap unit vector along z axis. So this is a small information about the problems which are we going to face in Biot Severt's law. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.